When On The Way began and we were emerging from COVID lockdowns, I suggested that the story of the Exodus could help us understand the times that we were in. In it, the people of Israel are called by God away from the security of their ordinary life and are led through the Red Sea into an unknown and an uncertain future. It was, I suggested, a story that can help us with the changes we face and with the uncertainty of our own world. And now the lockdowns are over and the first stage of On The Way is complete. Every deanery has a plan for fruitfulness and sustainability, which has been approved by its deanery synod and by Episcopal College. We have prayed, listened and planned, and the next steps on the way have become clear. And I'm so grateful to you all for everything you have done to make that possible. Those deanery plans are both very varied, as they should be since each deanery is different, and they share themes and aims in common. In particular, they share an emphasis on connecting with families and young people, on practical service to and with poorer communities, and on shared ministry between ordained and lay people. And as we take our next steps on the way, our task is to turn those paper plans into reality so that we begin to see our prayerful hopes for a fruitful and sustainable future take shape. And as we do that, the story of the Exodus continues to be helpful. After the people of Israel have passed through the Red Sea, they endure a difficult time in the wilderness. They grieve what has been left behind. They face the challenges that come with uncertainty, including conflict and hardship. And they learn more and more about their reliance upon God. We might relate to that. And then comes a clear plan. It includes the Ten Commandments, guidelines on leadership, a way to order community life, and instructions for the pattern of worship and prayer. And as part of that plan, Moses is told by God to build a tabernacle. It's not a permanent structure, but a beautiful tent, which can be put up and down as the people travel. And that's striking, isn't it? We might expect God's plans to be to build a town or, or a temple, something solid and permanent, as if they've arrived at their destination, but it's not. Instead, they're given plans for a temporary, movable tent. A tent which will be the dwelling place of the presence of God in the midst of the community as they continue to travel on the way. And there are detailed plans for the design of this tabernacle. And building it requires the gifts and skills of the whole community. Some people, Bezalel and Oholiab, have specific skills that will be needed for this task, but everyone has a part to play. And they build the tabernacle following the detailed plans that they are working with, and it is very beautiful, and it is filled with the glory of the Lord as they travel on through the wilderness, with a clear plan for living out their God-given calling in an uncertain world. Like the Israelites, we have clear plans now, one for each deanery, and by the end of the year, we will have a diocesan plan to support what has emerged. And the task before us all is to turn those plans into reality. Amongst the Israelites, Bezalel and Oholiab had the particular skills needed to construct the tabernacle. And there are people amongst us who have particular work to do but just as everyone had a role to play in building the tabernacle, everyone is needed now as we take our next steps on the way. And building the tabernacle was costly. Resources were needed. Decisions had to be taken and plans had to be followed. The same is true for us. Across the whole diocese, two million pounds will be invested in deanery plans so we can reach the young, serve the poor and cherish creation. And we need our MMF levels to increase in many places as well. But even with that, we can't do everything. 
and the plans do require us to change, in some places very significantly. The point of the tabernacle, though, wasn't that it marked the point of arrival. This wasn't a grand temple or a new city, and building it didn't mean everything was easy or clear. The point was to give a place for the presence of God as his people traveled on into an uncertain future. And that's our call as well. We have clear plans for a fruitful and sustainable future. And our task now is to turn those plans into reality, not by building solid structures in which we can hide from the complexities of life, but by building faithful communities with God at the center, communities which are ready to step out boldly into an uncertain world to share the love of Christ with those we serve. And as we take our next steps on into that future, let us pray. God of our pilgrimage, God of our journeying, thank you that you call us on. Thank you that you call us on into a good future, into the future that you have for us, a future which we hope, believe and trust will be fruitful and sustainable. Lord, we pray, give us the courage, give us the hope, give us the faith above all else that we need to follow faithfully where you lead. For we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.